is Lee. Welcome back to another video. Today you join me here at Aylesbury Railway Station. Um, where I'm going somewhere. Mystery location. So, yeah. So, I'm at Aylesbury Railway Station. Chilter Railway is operated with three platforms. Um, just waiting for the 1426 Chilton Railway service to Princess Risborough. Uh, and my mystery guest is getting on at Princess Risborough. But even though the train time next there, so we're catching. The, I'm catching the train to Princess Risborough, uh, and my, I meet my mystery guest at Princess Risborough. I will have a separate ticket for where I'm going. Um, we will then catch another train to our first to London and Marleybone. Um, so yeah, and then we'll have to dash over to London Euston to get the mystery train to our mystery location. <laughs> So yeah, so I'm just waiting at Aylesbury Station now for the 1426 Jordan Railway service to Princess Risborough. Should get to Princess Risborough for about a quarter, for about quarter to three. And my train is at 1526 to London Marlborough. Uh, should hopefully get to London for about quarter past four. But we're not finishing there in London, we're going further. Um, I'm always saying where, but you'll find out. Uh, but I'm just waiting here. Uh, but yeah, just waiting for the train now, and I'll see you when the train arrives. All right, coming around now is my train. This is going to form the 50, 1426 Chilton Railway service to Princess Risborough, and it's 165023 today. I have checked before people go ballistic, I have checked, and I haven't got 168 today. Unfortunately, unlike last time when I did join them. Yeah, there's my train. Okay, so on the train, this is 16023. Um, this is the 1426 Chilton Railway service to Prince from Aylesbury to Princess Ridge right now. This train just shuts back and forth all day. So there's one train that goes back and forth all day between Aylesbury and Princess Risborough. Now, this is the train today, 165023. It's based at Aylesbury. Oh, the train that does this is based at the Aylesbury depot because, of course, it's, it starts in Aylesbury. So, this will take me to Prince's Risborough. There, I have, I think it's about half an hour because I've got away from my mystery guest, who, of course, I'm not saying who it is, and then um, she'll have to get the tickets for me because I haven't got the money to do it and as she said to me that um, I was, she was going to get them. Uh, however, when we get to uh, onto the next train, we then have to contend with London. Now, of course, you probably saw this in the Harrow video, but I have got something that will help me in London, and it's this, my Oyster cars. Now, of course, this comes in handy sometimes, my Oyster cards. Um, so I'll be using that today. I have topped it up today on the Oyster app because uh, the last time I used it uh, was a few months ago. It was actually after the Harrow video. I used it somewhere else. Um, so, so, yeah. So I'm just waiting now to go. We're due to go in about four minutes. Um, but it's still same and terminating here at Aylesbury, even though we're not actually. Um, the reason for this is because um, the driver hasn't set up yet. But he will be setting up in, in about three or in about one or two minutes. And was, uh, here we go. It's just, of course, just come back. Um, just a typical thing on the one six eight five. <laughs> Uh, a blank screen. But yeah, I'll see you when we leave Aylesbury. Okay, just leaving Aylesbury, there's one six eight. Uh, that's just terminating off London Marlborough on the Amersham line. And we're going down the Prince's Risborough line, calling it Little Kimball and Monk's Risborough along the way. Um, scheduled journey time to Prince's Risborough should be about 10 20 minutes. Uh, normally at the back there, um, there's normally a couple of park buses, but they're not there at the moment, don't know why. Um, but it's blimming down useful, because it, it's, of course there's nothing but problems. But yeah, the next stop for us will be Lil Kimball, and then Monks Risborough, and then Princess Risborough. And then I'll meet my mystery guest at Princess Risborough. So we're now on the train to 
Rinses Ridgera. Now, the reason why this line is just a shuttle service is because of the demand. The demand of this line from Aylesbridge to Brisbane isn't the best. The two intermediate stops, Little Kimball and Monks Brisbane, are historically always been the least used stations in Buckinghamshire. Uh, Little Kimball has always been the least used station. Monks Brisbane has been occasionally. However, I can see why they're doing it as a shuttle service. The line itself sees just an hourly service back and forth. You don't need more than that. Um, so that's why Chon Row is only on one train an hour down this line. And it's also single track. Now this line has obviously suffered a lot lately. Of course last year we had the road the line closure for a while because of HS2 and it's also been closing a lot lately because of flooding uh, up in Ellsbury and places like that. But it's it's been a uh, nightmare, of course. Um, but nowadays, the line itself only sees an hourly service back and forth all day. Uh, there's a couple of peak hour services to and from London, and on Saturdays they're mostly the same, and on Sundays it's all day to London uh, hourly service. But Monday to Friday and Saturdays mostly, it's just a shuttle service between Aylesbury and Princess Risborough, uh, where you can change obviously to Chorn Railway services towards London. I know Prince Swissboro as well for Oxford as well. Um, but yeah, so we're just coming up to Little Gimbal now. And I'll see you when I go to for Prince Swissboro. Okay, just coming into Prince Swissboro over now. So it's the train of Prince Swissboro Steam Railway and the signal box at Prince Swissboro North, which is part of the Steam Railway. Uh, now, I've got half an hour, 40 minutes here, because I've got to wait for my sister, uh, which of course is my mystery guest. Nicole. Uh, she's joining me on this adventure to wherever we're going, which I know where we're going, but I'm not going to say We're just coming into Princess Risper now. Here we are, but it's a twist, bro. But this is not the end. We're going further. Okay, made it to Princess Risborough, operated by Chorn Railways with three platforms. But the fourth additional platform is operated by the Chin and Princess Risborough Steam Railway. Now, I'm just waiting for my two guest, who I did say who it is in the last clip. Uh, it's my sister Nicole. Um, I'm just waiting for her to come back from her work, which is just down here. Um, now, I did just note that the earlier train, the 1552, four, I mean, sorry, to London Marlborough is running late uh, by enough time. Now, the train's coming from Oxford, and it means we'll get to London much, much quicker if we can get that in time. But at the moment, um, Nicole hasn't yet arrived. She's not due for another 10 minutes anyway. 165023 has arrived, of course, on the Bay platform, platform one. Uh, that does not go now until 15.32 on the Children Railway service back to Ellsbury because uh, there's actually a freight train due past in a few minutes heading up to um, Quayton but I don't know what's going on with that at the moment I might have a look at real time trains about that but I'm just waiting for the call and then we'll get on our next train which will take us to London Marleybone so we're not finishing in London I'll tell you why in a minute. But yeah, we'll just wait for the call. And yeah, I'll see you when we get on the next train. So we're now on 165024 and 165025 on the 1527 Children Mario Service to London Marlboro. Uh, by me and to we, I've got a special guest right beside me. Hello. It's my sister Nicole. Um, where are we going on this train, Nicole? Um, we're going to London Marlboro. So yes, we're going to London Marlboro on this. There, we'll cross over and do some bits and bobs in London before we get our train at London Euston. We'll see you when we get to London Marlborough. Just coming into London Marlborough. Uh, where we're going to do some shenanigans around London. We've got four hours, just about four hours here in London before our train from London Euston. Uh, we're going to 
through some passing time here in London. Uh, we have a rough plan what we want to do. So we're just going through. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's back from one, as expected. Oh, 68. Oxford Flyer. Do you know that all Papa Vicky Hmm. Oh, I haven't seen it. <sighs> of course, I've been on a 68 though, once. For you that didn't know, it was declassified business cards. Well, I know next time I if I'm ever going from Bicester North, from to Bicester North, <laughs> or maybe to Banbury. Yeah, and there's a 1649 Wickham. And it's not that. And here we are at London Marlborough. This is not where we're ending. Yet. I'll see you when we get on the tube. Okay, so we're at London Marlborough tube station now. I'm just waiting for the Bakerloo to Waterloo. So we're, I've never been on the Waterloo and City line, so we're going to take the Waterloo and City line to Bank get the Docklands right way to Shadwell and then get the London Overground to Hyperlinston and then up to Euston that way. Um, but we're just waiting for the Bakerloo line, hence the Elephant to Castle, and we'll take this all the way to Waterloo. Okay, just going into Waterloo. Okay, we're going to change it from Waterloo into City. Um, um, Waterloo City, Waterloo City is that way. I oh, know it's this one, Nicole. <laughs> Saying this one. Here we go, Waterloo City. So we're just gonna get the Waterloo City line now. <sighs> I might need quite a bit as well because I got rubbish in the season, but I've had great. on the Docklands Light Railway, so you're just going to take this to the Limehouse. Now again, another thing I haven't done is got C2C, so we have got to get C2C. So we're going to take this Limehouse and get the C2C service to uh, Bento Street. So we'll see you, we're going off at Limehouse. Our train is just arriving, we're going to see the C2C service, uh, 357. We've got 357. Three five seven two zero five is at the front, and the Super Nest train's coming in as well. Mm. Where's our train? We're gonna take us to Fenchurch Street. Okay, so just on the train now, just from Limehouse to Fenchurch Street with C two C, new train company for me because I've never ever 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 been on C two C. I'm doing some new things today. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're going to take this London Venture Street. There, we'll have a uh, crossover to Tower Hill and we'll just see what we can do from there. Um, we are now approaching Fenchurch Street. If you see something that doesn't look right, speak to staff or text the British Transport Police on 61016. We'll sort it. Well, I'll see you when we get off at Venture Street. Sorted. Okay, so we're just waiting at the bus stop now, just down at Monument Station, waiting for a bus to Borgo East, and then we'll catch that to um, then we'll get the Hammersmith City line time. Okay, so me and Nicole are now on the city route, master on the number 15. 
uh, from Monument to Okai East. I'm going to take this to get the to the um, district line. I'm sorry, Hammersmith City. I'm being a bit confused. Um, but we're going to take this all the way to Allgate East, and then yeah, we'll see you when we get off Allgate East. Okay, so on the S stop now on the Hammersmith City line train to uh, Hammersmith. But we're going to take this to Eastern Square. There we'll get off and walk over to Eastern and get the train that we're catching in an hour's time. So, yeah. Houston, got my dinner now. Um, I'll show you a bit. It's Burger King tonight. Um, we're just waiting now for the 1916 Atlanta West Coast service to Wolverhampton, but that's going to take us to our mystery location, which, I'll, which I won't mention. Landing, Lapsley, Hemp Hempstead, Birkenstead, Trim, Shillington, Layton Buzzard, Fletchley, and Yeah, I'm trying to the train. This train is full of four coaches. This train will not be called Paramount Boylestone and Fushy today. Um, so yeah, we'll just wait for the train. Doesn't start balling for another, 20, for another half an hour. Yeah, we'll see you when we go on the train. So we're now on the train, the slight delay, 1916 to Wolverhampton, 319 or contains the largest location. So yeah, um, we're hardly about 10 right? We're on the left here. Yeah. Left We'll see you when we get Welcome on board get to off. West Coast. We're just leaving rugby now. Next stop is the mystery location, so obviously you probably know what it is. Now but I wanna say do we get there? Um but yeah, we are running about fifteen minutes late though, because what happened was the train arrived late into Houston and we left thirty minutes late and off now we were a bit behind because there was a track defect down here in rugby, which means that we're about sixteen minutes down. But it's fine, um, but we're just living rugby now. Next stop is the mystery location for us. Okay, arriving into our mystery location. Of course, you, I've obviously kept it secret for so long. Obviously, I'm still not telling you where we're going off. However, and the announcement has just gone through, saying we're arriving at the station, which I'm not saying where it is. All I'm saying it's in the West Midlands somewhere. But you don't need to know. Oh, we're just arriving into the mystery location. So here we are at our mystery location. Right, we can get up the door, please. Yeah. Well, this is our mystery location. I've, I've kept it quiet for so long, but we'll find out where we're going to. Obviously, I know, but do you? And here we are on our mystery location, Coventry! Okay, made it to our mystery location, Coventry. Uh, so yeah, new station name, of course. Um, operated by Avanti West Coast. Uh, yeah. Now, we made it to Coventry, this is where I have the space for the week for the evening, and I'll see you when I get to my hotel. Okay, so I'm now in my room here in Coventry, staying in the Elston Park Primary Inn here in Coventry. Um, I'll quickly just uh, I'll screw my cover out of the room, so obviously there's the door. A mirror, hello. Um, got coat racks, even though I won't be needing these because I'm only here for one night. Uh, got tea making set. Now, because I'm in a premium plus room, this means I get tea making facilities. So you've got two cups, cup, kettle, and a coffee machine, which is awesome. Um, got the coffees, got some chocolate bars, 
of bin, which I've already used. I've got a little sink hair dryer, even though I won't be washing my hair. A plug socket, quite a few plug sockets here. Uh, you've got a um, another lamp in the bathroom, another mirror, hello. Uh, if I just switch on the light. Uh, you got this one here, which is basically like me, like uh, if you do the elbow one. It's the bathroom, as you can see. Nice and simple. And we've got a big size bed, uh, king size bed, of course, with primer in. Uh, plug socket with USB as well. Lights, got a nice picture. Uh, from 2020. Uh, I got the firm stack. Yeah. More plugs, USB, got a big television, got extra bedding, I think, uh, which is awesome, even though I don't need it. Got two seats, three. Um, so I've got my room key here, got the menu. Uh, we have the breakfast included with this because we paid for the extra. And remote my bag. I've uh, got a phone charger, which I had to buy along the way because I forgot to buy a phone charger. And another big light. Um, and if I just go across through the curtain, obviously you probably won't be able to see much because it's so dark. But that's the skyline of my room in, in Coventry. But yeah, I'll just try. So yeah, I'm staying here tonight and then tomorrow we're going back to Railsbury. Now, of course, it's not a wasted journey, otherwise you might be thinking to yourself. Uh, and the answer is no, it's not. Because I have an idea. We've got to go to Paul Meadow bus station first in the morning. Uh, even though we're not getting the bus to Birdium. Um, we're going to the centre of Birdium, but we're not going by bus. We'll be going with on the train again. We'll be going with... I believe we're going to probably go with... A, probably London Western Railway. Maybe Cost Country, but not a Panther West Coast. Uh, it's just not enough money in my mind at the minute. Until next week. Um, I will be paying, however, for the Swift travel card, right, because I do need to get one of those. Um, but yeah, I'm going to bed now, so yeah, so I'll see you in the morning. The next day. Right, good morning, everyone. It is Saturday now, 19th of October, 2024, and you join me here still in Coventry. Uh, I had a fantastic night here in the Pro Um but today we are leaving we're going back to Rollsbury but first we've got a couple of things to do um I'll tell you what we're going to do in a minute but first we're going to go have breakfast that bad yet here it is Twenty past eight and then we'll go down to uh Coventry railway station we've got to get the train to Birmingham now I've decided we're not going with Banty because of the situation yesterday, we're going to be going with London North Western Railway. Um, might see if we could go quickly, maybe to Bedham International on the X1 bus. See if we can do that to uh, get over to get the 730s because we only have the 350s otherwise. So I might speak to the car about that. I first really to have breakfast, so I'm like, yeah. But yeah, but then roll over to Paul Meadow bus station. So yeah, I'll never get a Swift card. So I'll go. Um, and then we'll go to. Um, well, where are we going? I know where we're going. Well, of course, you'll have to find out. But yeah, I'll see you at the hotel. Okay, so. We just left the hotel and we're just going to get a bus from Port Meadow bus station with National Express. Uh, I've just checked the E126 on the electric E400s. Well, we'll see you when the bus arrives. So we're now on the bus E126 on the 72 with National Express 406. Uh, it's a nice bus, it's on the bus. Obviously, first time on National Express commentary for me. And I'm going to take this. I know there's a load of issues. See, Danny and me should be delayed. Yeah. Danny and me should be delayed. Danny and me should be delayed. Oh, God. Nick.
like I was just saying about the train and we were going to get the event to West Coast service but it looks like there's a couple of delays going on so we might have a problem great so yeah so we're just going to wait on this now to Port Meadow bus station and we'll get off there and, and walk over to the railway station to catch a, a train if we can get a train that is to um, Bernie but at the moment that might not be possible because there's a couple of delays but yeah I'll see you when we get off the bus okay it's just been to Port Meadow bus station got my swift cloth now uh, just got to find our way to get to the train station now because we've got to get the train to Bergen. However, I don't know what's going on. But yeah, we'll see when we get to the station. So we're now on E158. Uh, this is on the number 11 service to Lemton Spa. And uh, we're going to take this to the railway station. Queen Victoria Road. Um, and take this, and we'll get the train to Bergen. Um, but yeah, it's up to where my swift car. And yeah. 11 to Lemington Spa. But yeah, we'll see you when we get off. <sighs> Cheers, thank you. Oh, back at the railway station. Nah, that uh, was E158 on the number 11 bus. I'm uh, just gonna go walk over to the railway station now to get and get the train to uh, the central Birmingham. Okay, still at Crawford True, just waiting for the really delay. It's at 9.27 uh, Vance West Coast service to Benham Mew Street. It's running about an hour late. Um, I don't know what's been going on with the West Coast main line up at Houston, but the train left 44 late for some reason. Um, but the train is on its way, it's just left rough beat, and I have checked the time trains. We've got an Evero, the new 805s. Which are absolutely fantastic to see. So, yeah. Uh, the train's currently just over an hour late. So, not good, apparently. Not good. But, yeah, but I'll see you when the train arrives. Coming around my the corner is the train, the sort of really delayed 0927, the Vance West Coast service from London, Houston to Burning New Street. We're going to take this all the way to New Street, and as you can see by the bright lights, it's a 805 Ever Road. Which I'm very happy for. Uh, Avanti, of course, nothing, nothing but, but Avanti are not about uh, 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 giving me an ever in the form of 805 over 2. 805 over 2, the ever ones. These are nice tracks, I mean, yeah, but. The audio is not the best, but um, what do you expect? Uh, we're going to take this to New Street, then we haven't got a plan at the moment. That's all we can do. Okay, so we're just going to get the Westman's Metro to St Paul's. Uh, tram number 47 is coming in now, set going to Wolverhampton, but we're going to take this to, to St Paul's to get to Snow Hill. So we're going to get this to the Hawthorns. 172, 342 is at the front, but it's been a five car, which means we're going to have a. Oh, yep, yeah, looks like we've got a triangle front one. That means X Children. That one, Nicole, X Children. You can see by the colours, this one, Nicole. Oh, I'm on the. And it's 172, 103. So we're now on the. Chilton Railway service to um, the Hawthorns. Wait a minute. Orange, but blue as well. Hmm. Yeah, so this is a Westminster Railway service. It's not Chilton. It's ex Chilton train, though. Yeah, I've just arrived at uh, Jewelry Quarter. I'm just going to go to um, the Hawthorns on this. And I'll get the tram again. Welcome to this service for Worcester Fourgate Street. The next station is the Hawthorns. You know, it's, it's, it's a stack of black pain. Mm, yeah, well, yeah, we'll see you when we get on. Oh, was something happening again. Ugh. Right, just driving into. Um, Hawthorns, we've got to change it to the tram again. That's just the thing about me. I mean, I've got an ex John train, and of course, I live on John railways anyway, so I don't give it monkeys. <coughs> and here we are at the Hawthorns. 
I mean, that is a nice train. Oh, of course, extra tall railways as well. We would now need the West Midlands Metro again. Here's my next tram. It's going to S. Baston. We're really taking this to Grand Central for the. Um, but we're going to take this to uh, New Street. And it's tram number 30. Yeah. Anyways, I want to get off from the last one. Um, <sighs> but we were stopping everywhere on that tram, so we've gone off at Ball Street. The Ball Street. Yeah. I know. Uh, let's wait for the tram to go. And there goes tram early. And then up to S Baston. Yeah, back of Ball Street again. Uh, I mean, that was quite easy. I mean, um, well, you can have the lights. Uh. Alright, yeah, I'll see you later. So we're now on 17208. This is on the slight delay service from Snow Hill to Whitlock's End. We're going to take this to Wall Street. Now, what has happened is my sister has, Nicole has decided to get me a, one of the day tripper ones because they were saving me a lot of hassling and bustling and stuff. So I've now got a day tripper instead of a trip card. I've still got it, but I'm not using it now. And we're just on this to Small Street, just one spot um, with Westman's Railway. It's strange going to Whitlock's End, but we're not going to Whitlock's End today. We're going to uh, Wall Street, um, and then we have about an hour to kill before this thing happens. I wonder what that is about. So I'll see you when we get off. Okay, back at New Street. We've got about an hour here, but of course, here's the ball. Just to confirm it. Um, yeah. So. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, we're just going to get lunch. Um, we got to catch a bus now because we're doing a rather awkward station, and you probably know what station it is because it's only it's a really awkward station in this area, and that means we can do it today because it's only so one train a day, or should I say one train a week? Mm, wonder what that is. Oh, I see. We're going on the bus. So. Got my lunch out, so that's a cold, so I've got a bottle of water, quick chips, um, and that rib in the summer. Um, not bad for me. Uh, now, we are going to be getting another bus. Now, the original part was to get the X1 bus with National Express Coventry, but I realised that that might not be an option, so we're going to catch the X2 with Nat Express Midlands, because I haven't been on all of those yet. But I haven't actually been on any. I've only been on uh, National Express Coventry because I was in Coventry earlier. So yeah, I'm just gonna have my lunch and then, yeah. I'll see you when we go on the next bus. Okay, just going for the boarding now. Uh, just going out now. I'm just gonna get the X2 bus to our mystery location now. Bordersley. Now, Bordersley it does have a railway station, albeit it only sees it one train a week on a on a Saturday at 1408 towards Kidderminster. Oh yeah, other side, Cole. Is that bus there? The X2. That one there. Yeah. So we're just going to get the X2. Uh, it takes us to uh, Bordersley Station. Now this is to get a quite an awkward train, the 1408 service from Bordersley to Kidderminster. Now we're not going all the way on this. We're only going as far as we're only going as far as Dalbridge Junction on this. 
we're going to take it all the way to Salford. But my bus is here, SK19E, 7515, with National Express, plus Midlands, and this will form the X2 bus towards Coventry. Um, so, yeah. so, yeah, we're just waiting for the bus to come in. And I'll see you when we get on the bus. Okay, so one bus drive later, it's taking me this area here, just outside Birmingham. This is Border City Station, operated by Westman's Trains on the Westman's Railway Banner with two platforms to its name. Now, the service pattern here is so infrequent, I'm going to just show you it now. But here is the timetable. As you can see, it's one train a day on a Saturday at 14.08 to more strip to Kenneminster but today it's only going as far as Snow Hill uh, due to availability to a train crew but what you got here you've got a bin you've got 48 steps so if I do the counting one and here is the platform as you can see it's two platform station island platform um, it, as I said it only sees one train a day in one direction on platform two here the rest of the trains pass through except if there's an event going on at nearby St Andrews football stadium which unfortunately there isn't today but the station itself sees um, not a lot during the rest of the week but as you see it's quite tiny um, unfortunately though I've just checked the 14 away train to Kenneminster has actually been cancelled beyond Snow Hill I think it's due to available to train crew but um, but this is Bordersley. Um, but yeah, we've just got to wait for the train now. The train's not due for another 20 minutes though. But yeah, I'll we'll wait for the train to come in and then we'll see you when we get there. So, what's at Bordersley? So there's a welding shop with no benches, unfortunately though. It's interesting. Um, it's got two platforms. It's got an information point, um, which shows the train information. Um, there is lighting at the station, even though you don't really need it because of the st train stops at once a day anyway on a Saturday um, and it's yeah it's not the best um, but the service itself it sees one train a day um, it starts at Wicklock's end at 13.48 and it goes up to Kidderminster normally now unfortunately today it's only going to fast Snow Hill that's because apparently there's a um, <laughs> member of train crew being unavailable so they've been cancelled a lot of trains on that today on that front um, but yeah, um, but in the last passenger stats, Bordersley Station had 9,088 passengers, which for a bearing in mind, this is only served 50 times a year with the Saturday only service. However, you need to bear in mind that sometimes they will run additional services if there's an event going on at uh, St Andrews Football Stadium for Birmingham City, which is just down the road from here. Um, so there is a couple of extra trains that will call here sometimes but that's mainly it um, it's not step free there is a bin outside uh, at the door but that's it it's nothing here uh, it's a good place for train spotting though because um, because we're on the Snow Hill lines and before Moore Street it means that we can actually see a lot of fast trains come through and of course that is really good oh and, and Nicole just informs me that is actually the least two station in the West Midlands, which is awesome. Which is awesome. So yeah. Um. So yeah. So this station, it's nothing here. Um. And we show about twenty minutes before the train. So we'll see you when the train arrives. So our time here at Border is coming to an end. The train is due in five minutes. Um. Just seen the sixty-eight, sixty-eight oh one four, the Eco one going through here that was awesome um but we're now waiting for the 1408 west Midlands railway service 
to Kidderminster. Now, unfortunately, it's not going to Kidderminster. It's only going to Far Snow Hill. Unfortunately, there's something wrong, and it looks like the train's terminating at, at um, Snow Hill, which is fine. Only trouble is, we need to get to Stalbridge. So, we now have to wait for the later train, the Worcester train, that will take us to Stalbridge Junction. There, we'll get off and get the Stalbridge Town Shuttle. Because, of course, you've got to. Um, when you're in, in the Birmingham area, in the Birmingham West Midlands area, you've got to. But yeah, I mean, Border Sea itself, um, it's only served by one train a week on a Saturday at 1408. For, it comes from Whitlock said it goes to Kidderminster normally, but today it's only going to Snow Hill. Which is fine. Uh, we're just going to wait for the train now. It has just left Tinesley. Uh, it's got to stop at um, Small Heath, and it stops here, and then it will pick us up and take us to Snow Hill. There, we're waiting for the Worcester train to take us to Stalbridge Junction. Hopefully, we can make the connection at Stalbridge to the shuttle service. However, if we don't, it's not that big. Um, we then have to go back to Snow Hill and Moor Street so we can get our train back to London. Um, we aren't going all the way to London this time though because of these connections. Um, we're going to wait uh, for about 10 minutes at Haddenham Tain Parkway and then we'll wait another half an hour at, at um, the Princess Driftwood for the train to uh, for the train to Aylesbury. But yeah, I'll see you when the train arrives. Here's our train, the Westminster Railway Service to Burnham Snow Hill. Normally Kidderminster, but not today. One seven two three four three. One seven two three four three is at the front. No, I don't think it is. The call. No, it's a fruit. This. Hi. Just get on this, Carl. Get on. Get on. Oh, here's our train. <laughs> bye bye, Bordersley. Until another day. Just left Border City, next stop North Street, so I can safely say Border City. Tick! <laughs> yeah, so we're just going to take this to more Snow Hill now. Uh, we'll normally go to Kidderminster though, but not today. Great. Uh, we'll just wait uh, Kid uh, for Snow Hill for the train to Worcester instead. It's just about 15 minutes after us. So, uh, we'll just go into the Border City now. Uh, 68 mile, and there should be a steam train, and there isn't. So, yeah. I'm a bit worried. There should have been a steam train, but it hasn't ran. So, yeah. Yeah. Coming into Snow Hill, unfortunately, the train has been cancelled. Uh, Westbourne's Railway, though, I'm not saying why. And yeah, so we're now going to have to wait here at Snow Hill for the 1431. Right back in Snow Hill, we shouldn't really be here. Okay, made it back to Snow Hill. Unfortunately, our train from Bordersea has been cancelled here at Snow Hill because unfortunately there's no train crew taking on. So we're now having to wait here for 20 for 15 minutes for the 1431 West Bend Square so to Worcester from Hill. I mean, it's Worcester Fourgate Street, sorry. Um, I'm going to take this to Stalbridge Junction. There, we have a three minute connection onto the Stalbridge Town Park. So, yeah, we're just right here at Snow Hill for the train to Worcester Fourgate Street. Right, here comes my train, this is the 1431 Westminster Railway Service to Worcester Fourgate Street. Uh, we're going to take this to Stalbridge Junction. <laughs> 
Western Queen's Railway service to Worcester Fourgate Street, Bias Down Bridge Junction, and Hills. 172220, start the phone. I can't, I didn't check the other one. Okay, pulling into our next station, we're changing that, one, which is Stalbridge Junction. We are making a connection though, because of course we're in, we're in the Stalbridge Burning Mary, you obviously need to do one particular thing, and that's the right, the Stalbridge Town Shuttle. Uh, yeah, there's 68 here. Um, at the train care depot, which is going to be cut off soon, in yeah, about, about a week. Uh, but yeah, we're just coming into Stalbridge Junction. Uh, we've got to make a connect. Yeah, all right then. It's on that side anyway, but we're going over here. I don't think it's in actually. Might be able to make it. And here we are at Stalbridge Junction. So now we just need to get the shuttle to junk to town. Okay, so we're at Stalbridge Junction now. Now, if you don't know Stalbridge, you'll know that it's it's a, there's two stations: Stalbridge Junction, where we are now, and Stalbridge Town. You probably think the, the um, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I'm just in the way room on platform one and two. Um, you probably think that the Westminster Railway Service is on the Snow Hill lines, stop at both, but they don't. There's a shuttle service that runs between here at Stalbridge Junction and Stalbridge Town. Um, runs every 10 minutes, all day, every day, uh, every 15 minutes on Sundays, between here and Stalbridge Town. Now, you might be thinking it's probably going to be another 172, if that's all we need. You'll be wrong. It's not. There is two special trains here. The class 139s. These are there's only two of these ever built. And we're rather lucky that 139002 is out today. Please be aware that fast trains come So yeah, we'll just go wait for the next. Platform one is the fifteen ten Westmidlands railway service to Stalbridge Town. Call it Stalbridge Town. This train is formed of one carriage. <laughs> yeah, it's a single car train. Westmidlands railway service to Stalbridge Town. It's a little bit of that, so we'll just wait for the train now. We did just make the 1500 go because it was rather busy, so we'll just wait for the 1510 instead. Um, I will quickly go up to the town and back and might spend a bit of time in the town. Um, we do need to be back in Birmingham though for about 10 past 6, though, for our train back to London, Marlborough, but we're not going all the way on that. We're going to ask Hatton and Tame Pathway where we changed there to get a train to Mr. Risper. And we'll finish there. Uh, by getting the last girls to get an Elspeth train. Uh, so we should be back in Elspeth for about 9 o'clock. Um, but I'm deliberately waiting for that train because it's 168003, the refurbished one. So we're just waiting for the train. It's during about 6 minutes. It's literally a little shuttle service. So it's nothing. Um, but yeah, we'll see you when the little shuttle arrives. Coming around the corner is my train. This is the Class 139 Perry's People Mover. This is the 1510 Westman's Railway Service from Stalpish Junction to Stalpish Town. As you can see, it's just a cute little train. And it says go to the town. We're going to take this to the town. So we're now on 139 Zero We're going to take this to the town. I mean, it's a good train. I don't understand it. I'm going to do it. Um, but yeah, so it's a nice little train. Um, yeah. 
So we we'll just going to take this to the town. Thank you very much. And they established town. That is cute. So cute. Okay, so just been to the spa at Stoutbridge Interchange. As uh, so we just got away from the 139 Paris People Mover to come back now um unfortunately though the next train that we could have connected to has been cancelled which means that we now have to wait an extra couple of minutes for the next one which is only going to fall snow hill great which means that we're going to have to wait a bit longer for a train that will take us to more street uh, but yeah well, i mean the station here is cute but yeah, we're just gonna wait here for the uh, the shuttle pack. I'll see you when we get it on it. Okay, back at Starbridge Junction now. Unfortunately, though, the Westminster Railway cancelled the 15:30 to Whitlock's End, so we're now having to wait here for the next 10 minutes for the Dorwich train back again. It's only going as far as Snow Hill. For some reason, I haven't got enough train crew today. So unfortunately, um. We're just waiting for the train. It's going to, would have been going to Dorridge, but it's going to Snow Hill. Now, of course, we don't want to do that. So what we're going to do is, me and Nicole have decided that we're going to go as far as Jewelry Quarter. Now, because we already did the Hawthorns earlier today, we're going to go to the Hawthorns, to the, I mean, Jewelry Quarter, sorry. Um, the original plan was also to go to Smith at Galton Bridge and get a Westminster railway service to Snow Street but the connection's really tight and if we miss that there's a 20 minute wait for the next one so we're basically stranded so decided we're going to wait for the um, for the tram at Jewelry Quarter we'll take that to Ball to Grand Central the New Street station means we can do take off New Street but we've already done that one today. And then, I uh, don't know. Being by then, we'll probably finish because it's, I mean, it's half past, uh, it's 10 to 4 now, 20 to 4 now, and the, and our train's at quarter past 6. Back to rail, that's a bridge to hide, no. And the 139 is coming back. So I'll we'll see when the train arrives. So 172338 has just arrived, and I've got uh, a tank partner, but we're going to take this. This is the 1550 to um, Dorridge, but it's Snow Hill. We're going to take this to the Hall I mean, not Hall Horns, uh, the Jewelry Quarter. Just trying to make a quick change at Craven Heath for a later train because this is only going to Snow Hill and we can get another train that's going to uh, Stratford upon Avon. Well, and here we are at Craven Heath. Just wait for the 1607 to Stratford. Okay, so what we've done is uh, the train we caught from Stalbridge it was only going to far Snow Hill. So what we've done is we got off one stop down the line at Cradley Heath um, for uh, another train, um, the 16.07 here to um, Stratford upon Avon. She is going all the way to Stratford upon Avon. So we should wait for that and I'll hit Cradley Heath, uh, which is right by the bus station here in Cradley Heath. Uh, always good. Um, we'll be getting the bus down. Wow. So we're going to take this to Moore Street. There we'll go off and uh, we're going to do some shopping in Primark because of course you got to. Um, but we'll just wait for the train now and we'll see you when the train arrives. Right, coming around the corner by train, the 1607 Westminster Railway Railway service struck for the Pond Avon from Kidderminster. This is going to take me to Moore Street. 172333. I don't know what the other one is, because I won't be getting that far. We're going to take this to Wall Street. 
coming into Bolt Street now. Uh, there it is. It's been raining though, so I don't understand why. Back on Wall Street, for one last time. Okay, so we're just going through the ball ring now, uh, heading back to Mall Street Station. Now, unlike last time, we are going back to Aylesbury now, but to get there, we've got to make three trains. The first one we're getting from here at Mo in London, uh, the 1813 Chilton Railway Service to London Marlborough. Uh, that will take us to Haddenham and Tamer Parkway. Now, at Hadnum, we will then have a connection to make. Uh, the, I can't remember how long the connection is, but it's not that long. Um, where we take that train, we connect it out at Hadnum to a um, John Railway service to Princess Risborough. Now, well, obviously, that will go further to London Marlborough, but we're taking it to Princess Risborough. The train's coming from Oxford. Um, and then we get off at Princess Risborough and catch the Aylesbury train half an hour later so it's not the best uh, however we have got a particular train we need to catch now and that's the 1813 to Marlborough and it's 168003 the refurbished one so we're going to get that now personally Nicole wants his uh, food even though we've got bagels we're just going to back to go and get some more but yeah uh, we'll I'll see you again on the train. So here's our train, the 1813 Chilton Railway Service to London Marlborough. Let's see, it's 168003. Now this is the refurbished one. Doesn't go for half an hour though. Uh, the previous one's just left. We should be able to get a table seat. Or we just get a stand here. We don't want quite coats. For my sake. But wait a minute, I've just realised. One, two. This is only three carriages. Where's the fourth? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll be in the window this time to come. So we're now on 168003. Now 168003, if you don't know, it's the recent refurbished one. It was recently refurbished up a crew and it's entered service now on the Birdium services. And this is during the 1813 Chilton Railway service to London Marlborough. Just to go up to Marlborough. Now we're not taking this all the way to Marlborough, we're taking this to Haddenham Tate Parkway. There, uh, Nicole's saying to me that we were going to get the train to Princess Richmond and to Ellsbury, but uh, there's a we're trying to make a bus. Now, if we miss it, we're screwed. We have to wait for the train. If we don't, uh, we make it. We'll be getting home earlier. But at the moment, we don't know. But at the moment, one six eight up to three. It's all right. Um, new policies, new lighting, um, new carpet, which is lovely. Um, and stuff like that, but we're just about to leave Moore Street. We are stopping everywhere, though, because um, Saturday services on the Chilton Main Line are awful. But we we'll take this to Haddenham Tate Parkway. I'll see you when we get off. So we just left Bister North. Next stop is Haddenham Tate Parkway. Now, um, original plan was to get off at Haddenham and get uh, a train to Princess Risborough. However, that's not going to happen because even though we're running on time, there's no point of us doing that. So we're going to catch the free shuttle bus to Tame, which we could do with going to Tame anyway, for things, and then catching the bus back to Aylesbury that way. Um, it means we'll get home quicker, and yeah. But yeah, for now, we're just left Bister North, heading up to Hatton, and we 
should make the connection. It is a 10 minute connection, so we should make it um, to the shuttle bus back to Tank uh, with Ed Rose Travel. But yeah, we'll see you when I go off the train. Okay, just arriving here to Hatton and Tank Park. This is where we're going to get off once we connect up my three. It's just an absolute rip off. And then the train parkway. This is where we're going to end our train journey in the West Midlands tonight as we're going to get the bus back to Ellsbury now. Uh, so, what I'll do is, is I'll park to you in the studio for a little bit of a summer and up. Uh, so, subscribe my um, what I've done over the weekend and anything that I may have missed. So, to conclude this video, and a quick review of my trip to the West Midlands. It was an absolute fantastic day in the West Midlands. Started the, my day, my, the first day I started at Aylesbury, went to Princess Risborough, up to London, across London to London Euston, and then van to West Coast to Coventry, where we were staying. The hotel I was staying in was the, was the Premier Inn, at Elston Park, just outside of Coventry, um, really good room, um, as you saw in the video, and um, with breakfast included, which was absolutely fantastic. The next day, we went back to Coventry Railway Station, and I got an Evero class 805 to Birmingham New Street, got the tram to Snow Hill, and did the rest from there. Uh, new stations ticked off are Birmingham Snow Hill, the Hawthorns. Cradley Heath, Stalbridge Junction, Stalbridge Town, and Bordersley. Bordersley itself, uh, which is the least used station in the West Midlands, only sees one train a week on a Saturday at 14.08 to Kidderminster from Whitlock's End. Unfortunately, though, on the day I recorded it, which was yesterday, I'm doing this on the Sunday uh, after I got back, it uh, was only going as far as Snow Hill because of the availability of train, train crew that day. Um, but overall, it was all right. Um, normally, if there's an event at St Andrews Football Stadium, there will be additional stops at Bordersea. But however, that was not happening yesterday as Birmingham City were not playing yesterday. But it was an absolute brilliant day. If you want to travel around the West Midlands like I did, I strongly recommend the £11.20 Day Tripper Plus ticket, which allows you to travel around the West Midlands. It's £8.20 for the normal part, however, if you want the extra, it's an extra f couple of quid that allows you to travel from Kidderminster as well as Wilhelmington Spa, uh, which we took advantage of. However, it is absolute worth the tick worth it but I strongly recommend you do it however as well as that hot off the press is I will be an extra trip in November on the 26th of November with me and Nicole going to London for the day uh, for my sister for Nicole's birthday I am going and uh, you, uh, more information will be given nearer the time so stay tuned for that but until then, thank you very much for watching. If you like this sort of videos, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really does improve, really helps. And if, um, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment down below. As well as that, there will be an extra video from later, earlier this, from yesterday as well on the 139 page people mover. Um, that I recorded from Stalbridge Town to Stalbridge Junction. How, however, that will be a separate video, and that will be out in the next couple of days. 
But until then, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video I make. Goodbye.